So while this song may seem a little daunting at first, it's actually really just the Otis Redding sample at the beginning that's kind of tricky, uh, and it's really just some chords that you're going to need to learn. Uh, the chords for the right hand in the beginning are going to go as follows. With that, your left hand's going to be playing this. Putting those two parts together, this is your Otis Redding intro. I'll play it slow enough so you can see. It makes it easier, easier to bear. your introduction. Then the main beef of the song is real bare bones. Not a whole lot to it. Your right hand is going to have a pickup to it from the introduction that I just showed you. You're going to play this three times. That little five note run. And on the third time, this is really important. On the third time, instead of starting on this pinky and going five, four, three, two, one, you're going to start on this finger, which is finger number two. You're going to go two, one, cross over with four, three, two, and hit this two note chord here. That's really important because it goes into the next section of the song. Uh, putting that together with a straight G in the left hand, this is your pickup to the beef of the song. And then the beef of the song, uh, it goes like this. That's five, six, seven, and then you come back to that lead in. And then it's really just, it's mostly that. Every third time you go, and then after you play that eight times, so a combination of these and these, after you play eight of those, you come back to. Keep in mind that the left hand sounds a lot higher than it should. It should be an octave lower, same notes, eight whole steps that way, lower than uh, where I'm playing right now. So putting everything together, the pickup and the main beef of the song, this is what you should get. Otis by Kanye West and Jay-Z.